One thing that you can do uh, if you can't get a PS5 is buy some PS5 clothes. Uh, the official PlayStation gear store announced today that they are uh, updating with a slew of new products, uh, much to the chagrin, anger, and dismay of their audience who hasn't been able to secure an actual physical PS5 console pre-order, but are now being enticed with PS5 sweatshirts, bomber jackets, hats, and 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 gamer pants. You know, if, if I you could you could buy well games or systems for the price of some of these. They're they're not they're okay, I guess. It's just kind of weird, you know, cuz we can't yeah. get we can't get a, the consoles in but here's all this stuff. It's it's definitely an odd choice. Uh I feel like this is the kind of thing you can flex if you have a pipeline of consoles hitting stores on a basis that all of your audience is satiated and happy and able to secure Wait, hold, hold the hardware on. that they what want. The f there's a ski suit? Really? What the heck? There's a PlayStation ski suit. It's an official... Oh, it, it's a $350... This is, a, this is wacky. Wow. Okay, so... That so is, that's $50 less than I paid for my PS5. I got the digital edition. So I could have... Yeah. And they also have cool. They got the PlayStation model kit. They got the Bloodborne Android. But but really, the PS5 stuff is uh, is is an odd choice. Yeah. Um. And so hey. I, I would say, like, I'm a, I'm a big fan of joggers, right? Like, you know, those funny pants that are like a a marriage between jeans and 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 uh, you know sweatpants. Mm -hmm. uh, these are weird. Uh, if you want to pull up the joggers, they have like this big kind of gaudy stripe on the side. They're eighty bucks, which is you know sort of expensive for for something that you're basically just going to lounge around the house in. Um, the back, the Timbuktu backpack, I have a Timbuktu backpack. I've never paid $230 for a backpack before. That's that's on the high end. I think sure. those those are usually like 100 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I was reading the responses on Twitter to this, to the official PlayStation you know account tweeting this out, and people were just like, hey, that's great. Where is the PS5? Like, I, you guys are selling baby T-shirts with the DualSense wireless controller on it, you have- How, how, how many, many children do you think are getting this t-shirt and with like a sad note that says like, we'll get we'll get you one when we can. This was the best we could do. Sorry, yeah. we couldn't get you. There's, you know, there's the hat- I pre-ordered the had... PS5 and all I got was this lousy t-shirt because the pre-order situation was a real nightmare. It also, this feels like the way they did Baby Yoda merchandise after the show first launched, where they were kind of caught with their pants down and they just put a bunch of clip art on shirts. Like this is mostly just logos and, and you know, wireframe drawings of the controller. Yeah, they're not, like, they're not terrible, but also it's just kind of, a, oh, this, here, look at, is this a throw blanket? Yeah. Wow, yeah, look at that. That's a whole throw blanket for doing, mm -hmm. okay. Well, hey, if you, if you don't get a PlayStation 5, they, there's a lot of, PlayStation Five gear you can sit around the house <laughs> and not playing PS Five with, so that's a uh, that's true. That's a whole thing. Okay.